hearing on the improvement on the introduction of the Sandy Hill Special Improvement District 2015 budget. Resolution ratifying and adopting the 2015 budget of the Sandy Hill Special Improvement District. Finance Resolution 15014. So moved. Second. show up tonight okay. and this is the beginning of why I'm here. Uh, this particular SID, this hybrid as they call it, has been problematic from the beginning. Uh, when you, as you would like to call it a fee, assess an additional fee on residential uh, that makes no profit uh, based on this additional uh, uh, service that is being rendered. This is mainly for businesses to be able to, to, to enhance their businesses. But what's been more problematic about this has been a controversy from the beginning of the institution of this set, uh, which I believe was sponsored by Councilor Javaris and at the time Council President Andre Sayer. What the problematic part of it is, is not just the fact that this additional taxation is going forth. But there has been rumors, and I believe throughout the next speakers, we're going to have a, uh, an, an additional controversy concerning the president of that SID and the relationship to our now current president. Uh, if the president of the city council is pushing a SID that is a hybrid and his cousin or in-law is the president of that SID, that needs to be cleared up before you move any further on it. There are no members of the residential uh, body that they want to, again, fee taxation on that board. So there's no representation for them to be able to say anything concerning the operation of this SID. this hybrid SID from the very beginning. This was a subject during the election as well. I believe I was sitting over there and I was asking then candidate Sayer what his, what his input was on it. He evaded the question like a lot of the other ones. But uh, I think that what you have here in this hybrid experiment, if you will, is an unconstitutional act on those people that are the majority of the ones listed within the footprint of the SID. The, uh, the proponents of the SID were asked to come back with a listing of those addresses and or owners or renters or property owners or whoever was affected on the residential side by ratio because I believe and I'm not sure I think it was 70% of the people in the footprint were resi resident residential properties but there were no residential property owners or renters on the board of directors. They were then directed by this council to make sure that there was residential representation on the board. I opened the records and there was no response in terms of what was submitted as a representation by the residents. I would hope and I've, saw, I've, I've previewed your package. It's not in there. You asked for it. It's not there. I would suggest that you not approve it. Based on that, push it back to a workshop or whatever you have to do to make sure all the requirements are fulfilled prior to. There is a picture being circulated, of which I have in my phone, of, of, of the people that Mr. Rucker has stated as being related. I don't know if they're related or not. Okay. I know there's a picture, a family portrait, or whatever it is. Mm -hmm. There seems to be an ethical breach. Uh -huh. uh, I got a couple house, and I'm behind in the mortgage, and all this thing is uh, going to hurt me. Okay. So, uh, last time they heard the taxi, and then I have to pay the rent. People don't have no money to pay the rent. Mm -hmm. So, I don't know. Okay. I don't know what I'm gonna do. Okay. Maybe I give you the house to the city, they can keep it. 
No. Not for me. Okay. And I... all of you are there. He laughing and everything, and what we talking, and everybody over here is agree with this. But I'm voting. I know okay. everybody. Yes, 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 yes. I know all of you, but it is, and I'll vote for some of you. Mm -hmm. So I, I, I believe me, I'm going to okay. take it next time. I'm going to vote for you. Okay. For all of you, because this is something they help the people. Mm -hmm. You don't care. You right. you okay? Thank but you. What about the people? Yeah. Oh no, we're gonna uh, we're gonna respond. Yeah, we're just gonna respond at the end. And the right. security, I got a house in Lion Street. I call police. I got a house about ten years. One time they traced the town. I paid thirty six hundred for taxi. It went up to almost twelve thousand or fourteen thousand. Mm -hmm. And I called the police every day because I had a bunch of people hanging in the front of the property and nobody show up over there. Not even one time. And I call it, or maybe I can say a thousand times, or maybe two thousand times, call police. And you know what? When I call the Pereira or Pereira mm -hmm. over there, they handle the phone on me. Because I call it so many times. And then that's why you want to prove this. And then that's why you call it constantly. Come on. Okay. That, I don't, I'm wrong. I'm sorry. I don't want to respect nobody. But well, that's how I feel. And until they should get the money for some place out, because I know the city can get it. Thank you. Thank you. Next speaker. Council members, uh, Harold Vidal, 434 Market Street, Patterson. I'm here tonight because I really want you guys to think before you uh, vote on this resolution. Um, I've been cutting hair in, in Market Street for 15 years, mm -hmm. and uh, I, I'm familiar with all the property owners. I myself am a property owner. My property is a mixed-use property. I have the barbershop on the first floor, I have residential on the second floor. Mm -hmm. The problem with, with this SID is that the fifth ward is a struggling ward. Struggling as far as the uh, economic factor when, when it comes to the residents. The majority of the residents on the fifth ward are low income, you know? And when the property owner gets hit with, a, with an extra tax, uh, for the sin, he has no choice to raise the rent. Really making it to pay us the rent to live in the fifth ward. And it, you know, it hurts. It hurts to see those people have to front that bill right. that's put onto us because we're not getting the services that we're paying for from the city. So now we're going to have to have to pay an extra fee or taxation to get clean the streets, to get more policing, I just think it's not fair for mixed use property in the fifth ward. There, is, there isn't a lot of just commercial properties in the fifth ward. You have a lot of mixed use property, businesses on the first, and a lot of apartments on the second and third and fourth floors. Yeah. And I just think it's just not right for this extra fee to be, uh, to be, to be assessed to, to the assessment value of the property and the property owner have to pay for it. Thank you. Thank you.